गुड मॉर्निंग फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू शेर खान प्री मार्केट एक्शन येस्टरडे इंडियन मार्केट्स ट्रेडेड पॉलिटाइल एंड एंडेड मार्जिनली फ्लैट अहेड ऑफ द एक्सपायरी टुडे सेंसेक्स फेल बाय अबाउट सिक्स पॉइंट्स एंड निफ्टी फर्स्ट टू डाउन बाय अबाउट फाइव पॉइंट इफ यू लुक एट द यू एस मार्केट यू एस मार्केट हैड ए शार्प पीट ऑफ वेली येस्टरडे विद डाउन क्लोजिंग बाय अप बाय अबाउट सिक्सटी फाइव पॉइंट्स वेर एज एस एन पी पुट ऑन ए गेन अप अबाउट सेवन पॉइंट्स एंड नेक्स्ट एट वॉज अबाउट थर्टी नाइन पॉइंट्स This gain was on the back of a good uh, housing price increase data, which was above uh, analyst estimates, as well as uh, most of the companies which uh, announced their results uh, sh- uh, beat the street expectation. So overall, market remained quite buoyant out there. Uh, Asia right now is trading mixed. Uh, now China's PMI data, PMI manufacturing data just came in. Data came in at 48.3. Uh, which is in line with most of the est- analyst estimate however and uh, reading below 50 shows contraction in the economy so asian markets are trading uh, mixed we have uh, indian markets uh, which is singapore nifty which is indicating slightly negative opening and uh, is down by about 6 points again if you look at flows flows uh, fi continues to be buyers in the cash market they were biased to the tune of about 162 crores Uh, in the cash segment, yeah, on index futures they were buyer about 920 crores, whereas DIs were seller of about 298 crores in cash market. Now to have uh, an input in terms of how Nifty is placed, given that today we have FNO expiry, let me uh, invite Sadna. Good morning, friends. Let's have a view on derivatives. On the penalty day of FNO expiry, we have seen that markets continue to trade in a narrow range. But we have seen that short positions were built up by market participants in yesterday's trade, as around 10.13 lakh shares were added in open interest, and uh, Nifty price decreased from 6.838 to 6.829, and finally snapped the session with a margin loss of 0.13 percent. And Nifty futures premium also decreased from 20 points to 14 odd levels. If you talk about uh, PCR, it is uh, flat. It is increased marginally from 1.14 to 1.15. We have seen that put option has added more number of shares than call option. We have seen that put option has added around three lakh shares in open interest, which is clearly visible in the options activity. As we can see, as of now, six thousand eight hundred stands with highest number of shares in open interest. And if we talk about call activity, six thousand nine hundred stands with highest number of shares in open interest. There is one security in bank here today, which is HDIL. And yesterday, FIs were net buyers of approximately one thousand lot crores in future and options segment. Mainly, they were net buyers in futures, index futures of approximately nine hundred twenty-three odd crores. On Friday, we have the six thousand eight hundred lower range would be six thousand seven seventy-five, and higher range would be six thousand nine hundred. And being an expiry day, we may see market may remain volatile and uncertain for today's trade. That's it from derivatives. Thank you. Moving on to stocks, uh, which are going to be in action today. Uh, we have Tech Mahindra now. Tech Mahindra has won a deal from uh, U.S. based Hemshire division of the motor vehicle. This is a division actually which looks after the road uh, safety and the passenger uh, safety in New Hampshire. The deal is a multi-million dollar deal uh, which would span for about more than 22 months. This is very positive news for Tech Mahindra. One can lock Tech Mahindra with a stop loss of about 1739 for potential target of 1827 and 1860. Now, friends, uh, Natco uh, has uh, another bit of uh, positive news coming in today. The company has uh, won an appeal for Tammy Flu uh, patent uh, in the U.S. Uh, court. Uh, now, this is particularly very positive news for Natco, and one can long it with stop loss of about 757 for potential upside of 786 and above that at 11 811. Uh, Adani Port, as per media source, uh, Hutchison Port uh, is in advanced talks with the company. Uh, for purchasing a very uh, 25% stake in the company at over 350 rupees per share. Now, if the deal uh, does go through, then this would add to annual revenue of about 700 million to Adani Port. Uh, hence, one can long uh, Adani Port with a stop loss of about 201 for target of about uh, 211 and above that 215. Uh, Watchlist uh, for today, uh, today being expiry, one can see momentum on the positive side in stocks like Exide. Unitec, uh, PNB, Bharti, JSW Steel, and Axis Bank, whereas stocks which could remain under pressure uh, are Z Entertainment, IDFC, and DLF. Uh, kindly keep the stock loss about one to two percent, or one can take a position in the options uh, segment. We also have uh, important results coming in through. Kane India will announce its uh, results. The estimate for Q4 is uh, 
2960 crores. Uh, MM Financial the estimate is about 260 crores. We have SKM India, the estimate is 51 crores. Ultratech estimate is 652 crores. And uh, Yes Bank, the estimate is about 425 crores. Uh, also, friends, yesterday MRF uh, reported uh, its uh, results. The results were uh, below street estimate. Uh, mainly uh, the company saw a huge margin contraction which was uh, broadly because of uh, raw material uh, increasing cost of raw material and the overhead cost. Our view is uh, MRF results are uh, more of a one-off uh, for tyre industry because yesterday most of the tyre stocks uh, corrected after poor results from MRF. However, uh, we feel that uh, companies like Apollo Tyre would do well and uh, they won't see as big a margin drop as uh, MRF has seen. So we continue to like Apollo Tyre uh, in that uh, space. Also, Supreme Court has objected to open field trials uh, of uh, GM crop. Now, uh, Supreme Court has asked and question government as to why uh, open field trials of genetically modified crop should not be banned uh, till the case is pending in the apex course. Now a strong position by Supreme Court uh, taken in this matter it can sentimentally impact uh, stocks like Kaveri Seeds, Monsanto which are into GM crop. Uh, Muthur Finance has opened uh, uh, a stake sale uh, offer of about 65 million dollars. Uh, this is going to happen on 25th April. The price bet for uh, share sale is uh, fixed between 155 and 165 rupees per share. Also, French uh, EPC major Technip uh, has uh, decided to divest its majority stake in CMAC. Uh, Hell uh, Offshore uh, is going to pick up the stake. Uh, now, this stake is going to be picked up for about 246.62 crore rupees per stake. Uh, post uh, this purchase and an open offer which is going to be made by the Hell Offshore Limited, the company could uh, have its stake anywhere between 51 and 75 percent. Uh, now the open offer is going to be co uh, coming in at uh, 97 rupees per share. Uh, that's it we have in the morning conference. Thank you.